Hello, good morning. Welcome to Business. Minister of Finance Setepe says government will not rush in, the, in its decision to issue diaspora bonds for Ghanaians living abroad. According to him, Ghanaians abroad will have the opportunity of earning interest on their foreign currencies when government decides to issue the bonds. This is, however, expected to be done in, by steps. These are done through, you know, the banks and the banks as primary dealers. Uh, there's a possibility, as I said at the end of my interview, CMC interview, that this could be a pointer to diasporans who are holding money, you know, outside where interest rates are at, you know, below 1%. Uh, some are even trending towards sub-zero. Uh, yes, to uh, Forest Mobile, I think there has been you know, long-standing suggesting that we should be doing diaspora bonds, given a large number of Ghanaians who are outside. Uh, we are going to see the extent to which there could be interest in diasporans who are holding money. Uh, we are not going to rush into it. We may see whether this could be a step one, you know, towards, you know, making them buy, you know, bonds, which uh, they are outside, you know, the country. Many of them are citizens in the technical sense that they are not residents there, but in a literal sense they are, they are not residents. And if they can come in with their resources, you know, to increase the supply, then it means that Ghana may be, you know, the better, you know, for... Business confidence improved marginally in the third quarter of this year. That's according to the latest business barometer report by the Association of Ghana Industries. The AGI is attributing the slight increase in confidence to a stable economy. Executive Secretary of the Association, Set Chuma Kwabwa, however, tells Joy Business issues such as the high cost of electricity and water still need to be addressed. Well, the post uh, challenge with electricity uh, is still a major issue. Last year, what we experienced was inadequate supply, unreliable, irregular, and inconsistent supply of energy. And businesses complained a lot. There's no doubt about it. Consistently, it was featuring our business barometer as one of the key constraints. So we're happy that this year we've seen some stability. It cushions them a little bit. But then the stability has also brought in its wake another kind of challenge, which is the cost. And today, from the business barometer report, uh, electricity cost still remains the highest. It was so in the second quarter, it is so in the third quarter. What it means is that issue of electricity is critical to business development, critical to industrial development, critical to development of manufacturing. And there are different aspects to it. One aspect is the reliability, regularity of supply. The other aspect is the cost. We've managed to handle the, 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 the regularity of supply, but then the cost we haven't. So it is still featuring as a major issue. We need to have the two happening at the same time to become very competitive. It's not enough to have regular supply, which you cannot use and become competitive. Mind you, the cost of energy is part of your cost of production and therefore impacts on competitiveness. So you need to have the two working in tandem so that you can say, yes, I'm competitive with all these fronts. Then my competitiveness is not just limited to Ghana. I can also go out there, sell my products out there and become very uh, competitive in the other markets as well. And that's it for business. There will be more business news at midday. My name is Emmanuel Boajiri. Up next is sports. Thank you.